Will you live with him and be faithful to him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, and honor him in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, for richer or poorer, until death do you part? I do. A marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments, but it's also a declaration of love. I'd like to read to you what Paul wrote of love in a letter to the Corinthians, and I want you two to know. <laughs> love is patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love is never haughty, selfish, or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable or touchy. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them, and will always stand your ground in defending them. Jim, the ring, please. Place the ring on Lisa's finger and repeat after me. And look at this. I, Jim, take uh, you, Lisa. I, Jim, take you, Lisa. To be my wife. To be my wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. <laughs> Good flower. Place the ring on Jim's finger. <laughs> and repeat after me. I, Lisa, take you, Jim. I, Lisa, take you, Jim. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Hold hands, please. Inasmuch as Jim and Lisa have consented together in the union of matrimony and have pledged their faith to each other in the presence of God and this company. By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you <laughs> husband and wife. Good job, Flower Girl. Yeah. <laughs>